what's up guys this is Phil Ebener with videoschoolonline.com bringing you a great tutorial on how to create beautiful reflections in Adobe After Effects so you know the reflection down here of the Apple advertisement you know they're all over the place now not just in Apple's advertisements but all over the, uh, the marketing world and you can do it with images, you can do it with text, and it looks really nice and uh, clean and it's not too hard to do. So I'm going to teach you how to do it two different ways. And there's two different ways in After Effects that you can do it. So let's get straight into it. So the in final product is going to look like this. Alright, so first thing first, when you're in, in After Effects, go ahead and start a new composition. I'm just going to name this Reflection test 1920 by 1080 frame rate I can do 2997 whatever you want duration 10 seconds it doesn't really matter right now I'm just teaching you how to do the reflection and not add any motion or anything so first thing we want to add is our backdrop or our background so press command Y to add a new solid I'm gonna call this background just make sure that it's completely pure white select OK then I'm just gonna lock this. So lock this layer down there. I found this image of the, I believe this is the iPhone 5. You know, it's crazy that I keep coming out with new ones. I don't even have a smartphone, so I'm way behind the times. But here's an iPhone 5 um, image that I found online. You'll notice though that this has uh, some white around the edge and then there's a couple ways to get rid of that white. One is to use the Luma key. So if you go to your effects and type in Luma, you can drop the Luma key onto your image. And you can try to do it this way, but since the iPhone itself is white, you might have a hard time with it. You go select key type, go to key out brighter, then threshold, just raise it up until you have about the right amount. But see here, you know, between 254 threshold and 255, it basically gets rid of too much of the white. So we're not gonna use Luma Key. Sometimes that works if you wanna get rid of the white. What we can do is just create a mask out of it. So select the rectangle tool, that's fine. You could use the pen tool, but just using the rectangle tool is fine. And mask around this image as close as possible to the edge, especially the bottom edge, because that's where we're gonna line up our reflection. So something like that is fine. I'm going to turn back our, on our background and lock it up. Then I'm just going to position this iPhone to where we want it and the size. I'm going to make it 75%. And I'm just going to move it over here for now. Actually, I'll just leave it in the center for now so that you can see it right in the middle of your screen. I'm just going to move it up slightly. Then we're going to go ahead and create our reflection. So go ahead and I'm just going to rename this iPhone. And then I'm going to duplicate it by pressing Command D if you're using a Mac or Control D if you're using a PC. I'm going to rename this Reflection. Okay, now we have to basically um, flip this. And there's two ways to do this. First, we're just going to, in this example for the iPhone, we're just going to flip it using a scale change. So press S to bring up scale and type in the negative version of whatever size this is. So I want it to be the same exact size as the non-reflection. So I'm going to do negative 75. See how it just automatically flipped? You can see that when you flip it into negative, it basically you know, flips over. Then I'm just going to move this down, holding the shift key so that it stays vertically aligned with this iPhone and just place it as close as possible to the edge of this image. You can also use the you know, up and down arrow keys um, on your keypad to do that. And then the first thing we're gonna do is drop the opacity of this a little bit. So press T to bring up opacity and type in something like 35. That should be nice. And then the first way to create this graduated fade into white, as you can see here, you know, it kind of fades into white, this reflection. We're going to use a linear wipe. So type in linear, and under transition you have linear wipe. And just drag and drop it onto this layer. And you'll see it come up here in the effects controls panel. 
And so first we want to change the wipe angle because as you can see here, when I increase the transition completion, the wipe is going from right to left and it's like a hard line. What we're going to do is change the angle to 180 degrees so that it's an up and down wipe. And then just make it, you know, go to wherever you like and then add a feather. So it depends on how many pixels your image is, how big of a feather you need, but just play around with it and then play around with, you know, the transition complete until you like the reflection. And there you have a really beautiful reflection. One thing you want to do though is parent this reflection to the iPhone so that if you move the iPhone, you don't lose the reflection. You can either go under this parent tab, and if you don't see that, hit the toggle switches mode. Actually, it's up there already. So you can hit this where it says none, click that and select iPhone. Or you can just take this twirly gig thing, click and drag it onto the iPhone. So now if I move the iPhone layer, the reflection moves with it. All right, so I'm gonna move this over to the side so that I can add my text. I'm gonna add horizontal text. I selected my preset character uh, font and everything earlier. It's Myriad Pro Semi Bold. This is very similar to what Apple uses. So I'm just gonna call this the new, new iPhone. I don't even know what, they're on iPhone 5C or something like that now. So cool. And then I'm just gonna make sure it's the right size. We'll bump it up to 75 pixels put it in the right place. All right, now I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to just call this reflection as well. And I'll call it reflection two. And this is the second way to reverse it or to flip it. Before we use the scale, but now we're gonna use a rotation, a 3D rotation. So go ahead and click this 3D cube box next to re reflection. Make sure that's selected so that's 3D enabled. If you don't see that 3D, you can click the toggle switches modes button. Then press R to bring up rotation. And under X rotation, rotate to 180 degrees. See how that flipped it? And it's now matching the bottom of the new iPhone text. Again, we have to drop the opacity. For text, I decrease the opacity a little bit uh, maybe a little bit more, we'll see. Sometimes less, sometimes more than images. We'll play around with that later. And here's the second way to create that sort of vertical wipe or horizontal wipe. And it's with the mask tool. So take the rectangle tool and starting about in the middle of the text, but go to the left of it, you know, a good distance, something like that. And then, sorry about that phone vibration. Uh, then drag it all the way to the right past it about that same distance that there is between the left edge of the mask and the text. And then drag up as much as you want. But don't drag it down like just right there to the top. Drag it up above the text quite a bit. And the reason we do that is because we're going to add a feather to this mask. So press F to bring up feathering. And type in I don't know, something like 25 pixels. You got it, again, you have to play around with it and it depends on how big your text is. So play around with that and then you can basically move this feather or this, this uh, um, mask to where you want it. So say we just play around with the feathering, something like 21 pixels, 22 pixels. I'm just going to press mask, hit the mask, and move it up. So something like this. So put it right in the middle so you don't see the whole text, just like the start of it. And then I'm just going to drop the opacity even some more. So maybe 25 is good, something like that. And there you have it. The last thing is to parent the reflection to the iPhone text layer. So go ahead and do that. Now if we want to you know, move it around, the reflection stays with it. And of course I would bring up you know, the proportional grid and you know, just align these things so that they look 
nicely proportional to the entire image. But there you have it. Those are some beautiful reflections. Two different ways to create the reflection um, that I've created here for text or for images or really for any layer. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. You can contact me through videoschoolonline.com, email me at videoschoolonline at gmail.com, or just check out my, the Facebook or YouTube channel. Both are Video School Online, uh, youtube.com slash videoschoolonline, or um, facebook.com slash videoschoolonline. Cool. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned a lot and can put it to good work. Have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye.